Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Caveman Aston, and today I'm going to be fixing up this. I broke it the other day doing some gardening. Um, I've previously welded it once before, so that's probably why. And uh, I'm just going to clean it up and uh, stick it back together. So uh, let's get cracking. So I'm just going to start out by using a sanding disc on the angle grinder. Uh, go run that over all the surfaces, try and clean them up and get rid of some of the mud that's on there because I've not cleaned all of it yet. Uh, so I'm just going to clean up the area that I'm working in and I'm also going to use it just to smooth over some of the rough sections and get rid of some of the rust in a few places. Um, the reason I'm smoothing out some of the surfaces is just so hopefully that as I then re-weld it, it will then become a, a smoother surface, whereas when I welded it last time, there was quite a few sort of lumpy sections. I'm going to smooth it all over, and then hopefully I'll be able to fill it back in with some weld. Alright, it's all clean now, so I'm going to grab the welder, plug it all in. I'm going to use electrode positive. Uh, on the arc welder setting uh, just because it means there'll be a little bit more heat in the electrode which means it will deposit metal faster and it shouldn't melt through the sheet metal that is the rake itself as it's quite thin and that's why I had problems with last time I burned lots of holes in it so I'm going to try it that way around hopefully it means a little bit more metal to, will be deposited and I won't blow a big hole through it um, I reckon that the metal is only about a mil thick, so based on maximum of sort of 35, maybe 40 amps, I'm just going to have the, the welder set nice and low. Uh, I've got a few electrodes here, the metal is probably about the thickness of the steel, so hopefully it should be just the right size to complement it. And um, see how it goes. So here you should be able to see me pulsing the electrode sort of on and off or killing the arc very briefly between the welds. I'm just doing this to allow the molten pool to cool down slightly and then I come back in and continue welding. So it's just a very quick on off on off now, multiple times. That just allows me to let the weld pool cool slightly then come back continue the weld and it should in theory stop me blowing holes through the metal. Uh, by overheating it, turning it into a liquid puddle and it just falling out the bottom. For the most part this works but certainly right at the ends of the weld just where it becomes level with the uh, handle it, it has blown through and you'll see me a little bit later on trying to backfill these somewhat unsuccessfully. Alright, so that's it all done. It, it looks the right state, I'm not going to lie. but. I think one of the things I wanted to point out is when is bad welding acceptable? I mean, for something like this, it was already broken, so nothing lost. I mean, I've not done any welding for over a year, and last time it was uh, some TIG welding anyway, so a little bit different. Maybe doing a bit of um, yeah, TIG welding on this. Totally overkill, but I might have done a slightly nicer job. Um, I mean, obviously it depends what you're doing. If you're doing something structural, then um, yeah, it should probably be pretty decent. But if you just sticking something together, all is good. So um, that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.